Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Sin. You've made it to In For The Win where we're playing some more Dwarf Fortress. I'm going to be starting a new series in our fortress, The Arch Fences. Um, and yeah, we're just going to do a little bit of planning to start, uh, figure out uh, what I want the base to be in, in, a, in a slight sense. So I've looked around a little bit on the map and there's already this kind of inset... Um, entrance in this mountain over here well i guess it would be a hillside not a mountain but i think ultimately i would like that to kind of be our grand entrance i think we're going to make something along the lines of like a spiral ramp or spiral staircase or something uh navigating down because what i want to do is i want to make sure I, I situate this uh fortress quite a bit lower than i normally do uh normally i dig down like two layers and then we're basically starting to do so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna dig down some layers but i'm just gonna get the farming set up where i can and then we're gonna just gonna dig lower and lower now i can't remember exactly if the embark had soil but it's definitely got some sand so i think what i really want though is i want to have at least two primary um stairways in this that's going to be the large difference between uh top cities my previous long-term fort was i had one main entrance and i found everything was funneled down there uh i think it'll be better to spread it out a bit so what i'm going to do is i'm going to dig down in the northern area here and then in reality what will happen is we're going to move our way south into the map we'll make sure we fill in basically all this area on the map um, if you look at the mini map, right, we're going to fill in largely and have a nice big area to work with. I want to try and do some grand things so we can make it really feel like a dwarf fortress, not just a, uh, hovel under the ground. So I've already disabled, uh, cooking with food, uh, or cooking with the, uh, sorry, not cooking with food. We want cooking with plump helmets and saving the seeds because we don't want to do that right off the bat. Um, I used to also, right off the bat, set up a garbage dump and everything, which, I mean, I'll still do, but as I've learned, unless you're actually dumping stuff right at the bat, it's not hugely important, but we do want to throw down something for refuse and something for corpses, just so we don't have them. Let's put them both together. Screw it. All refuse and all corpses can go into that stockpile. So... I also want to have a definitely some sort of water feature. Um, I'm debating on making my own like waterfall in the base. I think that would be pretty cool if we center that uh, around a tavern or something like that. So what I'm going to do is we're going to be building all on this uh, west side of the brook here. Uh, I definitely want to try out some um, power as well with water because I'm pretty sure we can build a water wheel. And I'm pretty, I think it has to be deeper, one by three or three by one. Yeah, I think we have to channel out underneath the brook, but we're going to worry about that later. We're just going to start by digging down here, I think. Where, where are we located? We'll dig down semi-close to the river as well. Uh, there's no light aquifer on this map. I made sure of that. I didn't really want to have to deal with that. So we're going to dig over here because it looks like there's sand. So let's say we start and we'll go down one, two, three there. And I'm going to do another one right here. And we'll get those guys going. And I'm going to leave these massive trees up. I'm not going to chop those down. We're going to chop down the smaller trees. Now I did a uh, custom embark. So I've got it set up as I've got a couple miners. I'm going to make sure this metalsmith's a miner as well. And just because I can, I think I brought an extra axe that uh, will make uh, this metal smith. No, let's make our expedition leader also. Expedition leader is also a chopper. All right, we'll have them doing that. I'm not going to worry about plant gathering right off the get-go. But we'll let them chop trees. Uh, can I build on chalk? I don't... Or can I grow on chalk, I guess, is the real question. We're going to dig that out really quick and just see... Uh, chalk cavern floor. So if I go to workshops, farming, farm plot, no soil or mud. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder if we, because there's sand all around here. 
But there's also chalk everywhere. Uh, interesting. I'm, I'm usually not stressing about having soil. I'm pretty sure I've always had soil or sand to work with. So let's, uh, let's dig out a little hallway here and see if we, see if we run into some sand. There we go. Cause I was like, geez, man, what are the chances of not having any sand? Okay. So we're going to let these guys dig out this area here and we'll put a still, we'll put a still in a farming plot just to get stuff going. I like to do a um, three by five. There we go, we'll do that. And then we'll do a workshop farming, a still right there. Since chalk is close, we'll just use that. And then we'll set up uh, our little stockpile here for custom food and seeds. And then we're gonna basically bring everything else downstairs. I might put a little section where they can just drop plump helmets. Uh, yeah, I can't select where it's going um, for this, but that's okay. We'll put plump helmets all, all the time. So those guys will be busy building. Now, I guess we have some animals that we need to deal with too. Actually, no, I think I, oh, it looks like there's a horse for pulling the wagon or something. But we wanna put them in a pen in a pasture um, just to keep them keep them where they need to be. I definitely need to figure out the, the, the animals. I think you're supposed to just put out a uh, nesting box and they'll produce eggs, but that'll be something else we'll figure out as well as we go through it. Um, I mean, we could set a water source as well because uh, we don't have a functioning well. So if people need water, we'll say they can go there and grab it. Uh, we could do gather fruit right now, but again, we don't want to keep our doors too busy. So I think that'll work for now. And then we'll just continue building our stairway down. Let's, let's jump down a, quite a few layers, I think. Uh, let's go down 10 layers. And then that's going to give me tons of room to work with, essentially. Like, because I am going to be planting water in this case. So I want to make sure we leave uh, room in between. So I can have uh, irrigation ways and all that kind of stuff. So they're planting... Who's planting and not digging? Let's change that. Planters, only selected. And none of our, none of our miners are planters. Does that fix things? Or are they still gonna plant? Interesting. Maybe I need to increase priority. Oh, there they go. They're getting to it. They're just, I guess, I guess food is fairly important. We struck some, what is that? Chalcedony magnetite. Oh my gosh, lignite. That looks like a pretty decent layer to start at. And we got rock salt there. Okay, so let's go down to this layer here because it has stuff and things we can use. Um, we'll start out by digging a decent section here and then we can decide exactly how we're going to do this. Perfect. There's been so many playthroughs that I did solo that I found lignite and coal, but never in a stream or a live or a playthrough. So that's rock salt only for furniture. Lignite. Oh, these, this is platinum already. Well, I had planned on getting platinum. Wow. That's a heavy chunk of metal. 2140. That's insane. So is this all... Oh, it's a mix. Magnetite and platinum, it looks like. And lignite. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to get them to dig out the lignite there. And then the lignite here as well. And that's lignite. Yeah, we'll let them we'll let them mine those out. And where's the plat? Well, get them to do that as well. 
And then what else do we got? Is this chalk? Yeah, and then so chalk, quick line, pig iron, steel. Okay, and then so magnetite is iron. So it looks like we're we're very well set up to to move up to steel fairly quickly. We shouldn't even have to jump down into the magma layer. We can uh, basically start producing it. So I'm going to, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel these orders here. And then we're going to dig out, we know there's goodies over there. We're going to dig out, I'm just trying to think. What I was planning on doing is making some various fours. What is that? More magnetite. So I kind of wanted to try a different setup for the workshop area. So I'm going to leave this area as nothing. And then we're going to call this area. I think what we're going to try and do is how do I do this? I can change this. I could just go worker. It's not pretty. Worker beds e that's not legible at all can i can i figure it out no let's just ch let's, <laughs> i was trying to be efficient you know that that's not efficient i'm gonna just put a sign like this that says oops that's also not what i want i'll put beds because what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have bedrooms right above the work floor and then i'm gonna call this shop And then this one will be storage. Store. C O R A G E. Okay, that just helps me remember. So then what I'll be doing is I'll have a shop floor here, and then we'll have rooms that they can climb up to to go to sleep and we'll probably put a tavern on that floor as well and then we'll have storage right underneath all the workshops and then around each workshop they'll have their own little stockpiles so then if that's gonna work like that and we'll have storage like somewhere let's zoom out a bit so then we want I want this section right here to be so what I'm thinking is I make like a three by three I won't even be mining this section out I'll make this whole thing basically like a pillar in the middle and then we'll make a ramp going down around it if that makes sense you know I can and then it'll just be like a circle entrance going down into our fort and uh i had this concept too maybe about um having it so we can flush water down it if enemies show up i could block it off and then there'll be there'll be a bottom area that just straight down drops away from our fort so you go down you go down you go down you go down then you have to cross a bridge to actually get into the main fort but then if I close the bridge, they're gonna be stuck on this tier and I wonder if we could flush water in and push them all down. So that's that's kind of what I had in mind for, for this space. So if we zoom back out and uh, we go up a layer two. Oops, now we wanna go up here. And where did we decide? We said, oh yeah, I haven't even gone low enough, I don't think. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, so if that's gonna be our main entrance over, over here, we just kind of, kind of, kind of got to figure out where the main walkway is going to be, and I guess we could just straight up do it diagonal. That might not be the worst idea, but if storage. So if this is, yeah, maybe let's go a little bit deeper here. Oops. Why aren't you digging? Oh, that's why. So we'll just mark that a little bit more. Okay, so then shop 
and then storage, and then I want to have like one, two, three. Okay, that's what we'll do. So, two. Now we can make that work because storage will be largely up here. So, elevation 30 will be, uh, we'll just call this main. M. A. I. M. Okay. So then, basically, I really wish you could just do like a nice line tool. This is where I have to get used to DF hack and like the blueprint function. Um, but I guess it would be kind of... Oops, that's not what I want to do. I guess it would be... If this was our one of our main layers, then we'd want a bridge of some sorts. So we could do like a three wide bridge there. And then we could make a main hallway. So if I did like this, and we go three, we basically just continue this all the way across. This will be our main hallway here. And then we'll probably open it up into like a grand chamber or something along those lines. Yeah, I'm just gonna make this line all the way up here so I know three, three, Oh, I bet. Control, record, enter. Control R. There we go. See? You got to use your features the right way. Perfect. Look at that. That's going right to... Oh, yeah. Look at that. That, that couldn't have been better. So there's our main diagonal hallway. Yeah, I like that. that that'll that be good. Okay. And then basically, yeah, we'll have... Now, if that's going to be the center there, I think what we should also do then is we're going to make it, in the end, we'll make it a... Probably five stairs in the corners as well oops yeah and then uh, who knows i don't even know if this will be an opening later it might be covered in a castle above or a, or a tower or something that doesn't actually have access to the main fort but it would be nice i don't know from a role play standpoint to have like an emergency exit or something like that so okay we've got we've got a plan we've got dwarves doing that and so let's uh Bedroom, shop. This is where we want to start. I think we're gonna we're gonna have them mine out that, and then I want it to be somewhat organized. So we're gonna separate it off and have sections. So five. Give them space around the stairs when they come down. And I think this build I'm going to do fairly symmetrical. I'm not going to do it so abstract as the last build. Yeah. 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 I like that idea. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we'll do it this way first. And leave a space of three up there. So we're going to dig out this. Maybe we'll do it five wide. Because then I have this I have this idea for a simple, well, simple layout. So if we're going to go workshops, carpenter, I want to leave pathway there. Uh, we'll do that out of chalk. And then... The plan is, is so those are the shops in the bedroom. So my idea 
is to have well and I, this isn't mine there lots of other people had this idea is to dig stairs directly near these areas so one up like that so basically we'll have a storage area below and bedrooms up top and then i think what we'll do for now is we're gonna kind of just situate everything on this floor including like the food and everything so i want to make beds first oh yeah i guess what we really want to do is if this is going to be our storage area we want to dig out i guess it doesn't really matter how big it is but we'll, we'll match the size for now uh that'll cover yeah, we'll have them dig out that, and then we'll store some wood down there. And then we're going to put stockpile here, except food, all food, no drink, and no seeds. So food will go there. And we'll put uh, we'll put all the drink there, and then we're gonna make a stockpile down here. Except uh, that'll be for wood, so they can start bringing some wood down there. And we'll see. We we may connect this area as well. It probably can't hurt to have the storage connected, but if anything, I think we would kind of do it. Yeah, we do it a bit tighter. We do these all three by three. Uh, let's turn those to blueprints. I don't want them to dig them out yet. Yeah. We'll have hallways going off like that. And we'll have storage rooms down here. And then food and drink will go there. And then... Yeah, we'll probably make individual bedrooms... I'll plan that out later. I'll plan the bedrooms out later. So for now, we're going to go like this. And we're going to set a dormitory right there. And then let's have them dig out another section. Oops. No, I want you to actually dig out the other section. Um, yeah. Those are going to expand as we go. And they'll branch out and have other, other areas. But for now, I think we're going to just kind of use that as... Actually... Maybe I'll have a whole separate area for finished goods. Well, it looks like they're catching some mussels, so we can make some crafts. What are they, uh... What are they working on? Hauling? Instead of mining? Uh, who's our... Who's our main miner? That's all you do right now, bro. I don't need you worrying about other stuff. Okay, beds are made. Can I build beds from there? Or do they have to be in a stockpile? Uh, use closest, keep building. Okay, I can throw beds down there so they got a place to sleep other than the ground. They're going to dig that out. Dig that out. What we're going to do then is we're going to turn this area here. Put this at a priority four. We're going to dig out like all that right there. And we're going to put this, uh, we're going to go stockpile, bam. And basically, I want to put, we're going to go cuss. Uh, let's just do all. And then we're going to take, uh, I'm going to put no finished goods and no furniture, no food, no refuse, no corpses, no stone, and no wood there. No wood, no stone, sorry. And then we're going to make another stockpile right here. Except custom, finished goods, and furniture. I'm, I'm, I'm very big on keeping stuff organized for my sanity. I'm not, I mean, it's one thing to worry about your dwarfs. But yeah, I just want to make sure I remember where stuff is. Where stuff is going to be stored. So on this side here... We're going to put a workshop 
and we're gonna make our stone worker. We're gonna put, we'll put stone worker there. Yeah, then we'll probably have another stone worker. So then what we'll do is, again, we'll make this five wide. Should be good like that. Oh, I used rose. Actually, I like that. Pink on that side because it's silver. Look at all this magnetite. Good. Good. Frequent makes it a little bit easier, I guess. Is there bugs down there getting after my food? I guess we need to make some barrels and some bins. We can go jump back down to this stockpile here. We, I want to expand it all of this room, except I don't like it when it's covering the stairs. So they can fit a bunch more wood down there now. And then same deal here. We are going to build our three stairs like that. Actually, I should prioritize those. We'll build our stairs like that. Can they not build up? Because we've already dug that out. Um, construction, stairs, select material not build at this location well you don't let me huh can I build from there wait no no try this again construction stairs from down to up to up see what happens when they do that ah sure we'll make this one rock salt I don't know if they're gonna build stairs up or just change those ones to pink. Okay, so first thing we want is a throne. So we can set up work orders. Oh, see, that's a downstairs. Cancel that construction. That construction is already done. Okay, it's not ideal. But let's just imagine if... This was to be the bedroom, and then there's a hallway here. I was really wanting them to just go up and enter their room. But if their room is three by three, then these ones can still have a hallway there. Interesting. I guess you can't dig up, eh? I guess not. You can dig down. Okay, so what we'll do is we will go like this. And connect them like this. And then we'll fill in the other ones. Plan ahead a little bit. Because, yeah, that'll give them enough room for beds. We can even put a bookcase and make it look a little nicer for them. And then I think what we'll do is we'll just build back in this wall. No, dude, is that what I want? It seems weird to have two doors on every bedroom. Yeah. Interesting. Well, now they're going to build the stairs down, though. But now do I need to build the stairs up? I bet I do. Well, let's see what happens. If I go constructions, wall, select material, uh, we just go use closest. Should just use the chalk that's there. So you're going to build that in. Can you get out of there? No, I don't think you can. So then construction stairs down. Construction stairs down. Okay. It ain't perfect. But. Okay. So then what I would do is I'd put a door here in a bedroom. And there'd be specific bedrooms for the workshops. Maybe that doesn't make sense. I don't know. But in my mind, later on, I'm going to have specific workers and they're going to be doing specific things. And yeah, so why not have a bed really close for them? 
that I didn't mean it makes sense in my by my mind. Um, so then let's just build our other main piece that we need. I'm gonna select this material and make sure we do it as rock salt as well. I like this pink and white combination. I mean, pink's not my jam, but it looks very nice together. Aha, and we got coal in this one too. So yes, we can finally do a steel industry like I've been planning and never once even crafted a steel bar. How's our wagon looking? Couple, couple more pieces in there. So the other thing I wanna do now is main floor is this. We're gonna go down to our, let's say, that's our storage layer. I want to set this one so your H key brings up your location. I don't, I used to assign them, but I don't ever look at this menu anymore. So you just re-click this and this is going to bind that to the hotkey F2. So now you can easily flip back and forth. Um, I want to add new task, rock mugs. And that's just going to give us something to sell. I think, uh, quill for this in his mug industry because Doris also wants something to drink out of as well right so we're gonna set that to make a few of those uh, we should have made our throne already but let's make a door as well and then what we really want to do I think is we just need a place to store stone for the time being now I think what we're going to do Actually, no. What we're what we're definitely going to do is we're going to mine this area out, and this is going to oops. This area here is going to be for storing stone for the time being. Uh, actually, though, yeah, we'll connect this one because the crafts will often use stone as well, so we can make this all connected. Actually, what we'll do, priority one, is we'll dig down there. And then, it's, a, it's the same kind of tricky thing with the rooms. Maybe I'll just have access to the rooms with the stairs, and we'll put doors, so then... Yeah, like this one. Yeah, like I think we'll just go like that for now. And then, yeah, there'll be stairs there. Yeah. So then essentially what we'll be doing is I will be making stock piles like this um yeah it, it would surround we'd have another one like that i take it off the stairs and here and here yeah and then and then if i put that and i'll say that can take items from anywhere or only from specific workshops and stockpiles so yeah i want this to give items to there so now anything that this makes, oh, do I have to set? No, that should be okay. Anything we craft, from my understanding, uh, let's make a statue. Prioritize. And see, let's see if they throw it in this stockpile. That's how it should work in my mind. And then we would do the same thing for here. And I would clear these ones. Actually, no, I would. I would clear this whole area right here. Same with this one. Okay, so this guy made that statue. Now, this stockpile, though, we basically want finished goods and furniture I think from that so let's see if somebody goes and moves it there or does it just stay in the workshop perfect so that guy crafted that and he moved it there 
And then eventually we're going to make it so that each stockpile is delivering the items exactly where we want it to go. I plan on having a nicely sorted, uh, you know, storage room, maybe up to the north here. We'll figure that out as we go. Um, but this room here, we want to make this stockpile all stone. And we'll probably sort it out later. Same thing. Don't cover the stairs. Think of the dwarves. Could you imagine trying to walk down and how there's like st a giant boulder on the stairs? So that one will be stone, but we don't want metal ores. I don't want any metal ores in there. So that's just stone that they're going to use for crafting. And then the last thing I think we're going to do, because we're kind of getting to that mark, uh, 45 minute mark that I like to stay around. I think what we're going to do is we'll have going to have it a room here and then I think down here is going to be the metal smithing room so actually I want you guys to mine all this out and this out and this out And then while you guys are here, we're going to mine out another room there. And we'll dig this down. Yep. Yep, we can work with that. And then actually what I want is other stairs there. And so basically, I'm just going to get this set up in preparation for where the smelters, sorry, not metalsmiths, the smelters and stuff are going to go. We'll, and then underneath here, so is he going to dig that? Perfect. So yes, okay. I get how it has to work now. Okay, so there's a stair up, and then there's a stair down, and then we're going to turn this area here into metal ores stockpile all right so we'll let yeah we'll let these dwarves dig out here actually i think what i'm going to do really quick too is add a new task uh if we scroll down to the bottom make another wooden wheelbarrow make another wooden wheelbarrow because they can haul stuff faster make more barrel make a couple more bin and then we'll go back up top Actually, no. Oh, yeah, no, we've moved all the wood down already. Good. Yeah, they got lots of wood in the stockpile there. So here we'll set up this stockpile as... Where is that? Except custom stone, all metal ores. Uh, and then actually what I think I should probably do instead is we'll make this room right here. And we're going to actually connect all the rooms. That makes more sense. This one will be one giant stone stockpile area down here. So that one will stay all connected. Let's, uh, let's have them dig that out too while they're, while they're at it. Lots of, always lots of stone, you know? So they'll dig and then we'll just give them a couple minutes to, to do some organizing. Um, cause this one, I think actually I want to take out, take out Bitnamis and Lignite out of there. And then this stockpile here, except custom stone economic. And this one will have Bitnamis and Lignite. Okay. All right. Metal. Metal ores. Crafting stones. Bit, coal, and leg. And then, yeah. So then if we expand this one, get rid of our stair cover. So yeah, I mean, we could, uh, we're still doing okay for food and drink, but we can go down to this floor here and we can go brew drink from plants and let them do that indefinitely. Uh, I think 
two, what we might do just to just for the sake of things is we have looks like we have um the uh, mussels and fish and stuff like that. So I'm gonna throw down fishery there. I'm gonna put a little stockpile here that's got food and that's got we're just gonna put yeah, is that unprepared? We're just going to put all fish there for now. And then I want to have actually a separate little stockpile right here. Except custom refuse shells. Because we're going to use those shells. I'm going to go into this stockpile here. Custom refuse. I'm going to take off shells. Okay. So. This guy's going to prepare raw fish into edible food for us. The leftover shells are going to get put there. Eventually, we're going to transfer them down here to this craft station. Um, let's put our little stockpile right here. Accept. And then this one will accept. We'll take items from here. And then we'll go custom, and this one should pretty much be finished goods. We'll put we'll put furniture on there too, and bars and blocks, just in case. So then, carpenter's workshop, custom, same deal. We'll just go finished goods and bars and blocks, but they can only take items from that carpenter's workshop okay i think we're off to a great start we just basically got to let our dwarves do some organizing they'll put uh, the various metal ores and wood and stuff like that where it needs to be yeah i think that's a great start to our episode all right everybody that was episode one, and uh, we'll be back with some more arch fences in the future. I'm Sin. Thanks for coming by.